So I believe that anytime you enter a structure, that we're already behind. I think these tactics we are testing here should mitigate the risk in case you have to go in, but that should be our last option. Based on their response to each scenario, we will correlate that with their experience level and their training levels. Get out, get out, get out! I roll! Historically, I mean, I think we've all gone through training and uh, there are certain tactics that you learn and where those tactics came about is just, they've been used throughout history and very rarely has anybody truly tested that tactic. It's always being aware we're at in a structure and moving depending on what room we're clearing. We've never really tested our tactics. And uh, one of the big things that we're trying to do now is make sure that we have the evidence to support and back up why we do what we do. This is the way that we've done it for years. This is the way that it's done. I think we need to get away from that, especially with uh, the new generation of, of individuals coming up. They want to know the whys. All right, everybody understand what we're doing. Good deal. Come with me. Stand by. Enroll! It lends us to the need for technology and implementing technology and other tools prior to putting people into a house or putting people into a room. Remember, it's not about flying a drone through the house, it's about placing a camera where we want to see things. The tactics we're going to learn here today are actually going to go nationwide as we proceed this. So you guys are kind of building this for us. You got two danger areas, two danger areas, no immediate ambush on you. It's just if we can send it downrange just like we would a robot. In fact, we would use a robot sometimes before we would send a dog. Especially if we know the guy's armed and things like that. We might want to send something that if they shoot it, no big deal. We don't want to send this guy into an attic or into a shooting situation just to suicide uh, canine. Now we have the same problem with a dead dog. The environment is constantly changing and we need to stay ahead of that. So to do that, we need to constantly be our own evaluators and be our harshest critic on what we're doing so we can stay ahead of the, those changes and really be ahead of the trends. We shouldn't you know, be reactive, we should be much more proactive in how we're developing our training.